But first, we have breaking news this evening. The jury has just come back with a sentence for Maria Issa. Now, the St. Louis woman and her husband, Zane, were convicted of killing their daughter, Tina, in 1989 and sent to death row. But Maria Issa's sentence was overturned due to bad jury instructions. A new jury has been deliberating for two days to come up with a new sentence. And News Channel 5's Gene Jackson joins us live outside the courthouse with the jury's decision. Gene? Well, Dan and Karen, the jury came back with their decision almost 24 hours after the panel went behind doors. In fact, it was a very difficult deliberation because overnight one of the jurors became ill. They had to replace that woman and start over again this afternoon. But the verdict is in and the second panel now, the second time Marisa, Maria Issa has faced a jury of her peers. This time they say she did not deserve to die in connection with her daughter's stabbing death in 1989. Now again, Maria and Zane Issa were convicted in 1991 of the stabbing death. Maria's sentence, as Dan said, was overturned and sent back for resentencing. This afternoon, the panel was unanimous that Maria Issa's actions, whatever they were in that murder, did not deserve the death penalty. She is given life in prison without the possibility of parole. Now, her attorney and her family present in the courtroom were pleased that Maria Issa was spared the death penalty, but they're not at all pleased with the original conviction. Here's what her attorney, Charlie Shaw, had to say just a few moments ago. She had nothing to do with knifing her daughter. She had no part in the physical attack upon her daughter, and that's why I say that she is not guilty. They had it an open case, okay, they would have done a better job than this, okay, because, okay, like I told you, okay, any woman, okay, with a heart, okay, she won't, okay, there's no way she'll kill her, okay, her own. Prosecutors have maintained that Maria Issa, in fact, pulled her 16-year-old daughter, Tina, down and held her to the ground while her husband, Zane Issa, stabbed the girl multiple times. But the defense maintains that Maria Issa was simply a victim of a very strict Islamic husband who was upset that his daughter was becoming too Americanized and insisted the child need to die. The formal sentencing for Maria Issa will be held June 20th, but the judge this afternoon accepted the panel's decision. Reporting live from the Municipal Courthouse, Gene Jackson, News Channel 5. Okay, Gene, thank you very much.